What's up everyone, it's Wayne from Faith in Black. I did a whole lot of tent and a whole lot of vinyl and I'm gonna show you guys what I did in this truck right now. Now I know a lot of people are asking about vinyl wrapping their bumpers and vinyl wrapping their, their grills. So on this truck, we did all that. And also, we vinyl wrapped the pillars to make that side window a whole blacked out look. So this is the rundown of what we did to this truck. Wrap the grill, we wrapped the whole front bumper, we wrapped the back corners of the rear bumper, and we wrapped the B pillars, and I also did a whole bunch of tint on this thing. I tinted the full windshield in 35%, I tinted the front two windows in 20%, and on the rear slider, we did that in 5% limo black to murder that out. One of the new products I tried with this truck is Glass Aid. It's a tint stuff. It's Matt Blackmere's product. I think it was awesome. You put it on the outside of your window and you actually trim your film on this product. It's a little tape product that sticks to the glass. It sticks well. It helps you find your edge of the border of the window tint so you don't have to put a light inside and try to find what you're doing because when you get darker films, it is hard to see the line where you need to cut on. So I tried this product as well. That's that white line that you see on the glass. It's just a tape product. It worked really well. It's my first time using it. I have to say, I kind of like it. So I'll be using, I got three rolls of this stuff. I will be using it every chance I get.
So windshield done at 35%. Now, I've never recommended to do 35% because I think 35% looks a little dark, but this customer wanted 35%. He wanted to go with that murder route look. So that's what we did on this one. The Ford trucks are pretty straightforward. I made a video about removing the Ford mirrors. I'll leave a link to that up here. Like I said before, it's sketchy. You can possibly break a Ford windshield if you apply too much pressure. So I did try to get his mirror off. I couldn't get it off. So I said, you know what? I don't want to risk it. So I cut around the mirror and I put just a little bitty slice up the windshield. You really don't notice it. I mean, the overall thing is to get the privacy in the truck so people can't see you. Like I said before, it's not worth ruining a windshield for a piece of tent. So I left the mirror on this time and just did a nice little slit. I think it turned out well. And like I said before, you gotta kinda weigh your options, man. And it doesn't take away from the look. It still looks well and most people, you don't even notice that. I'm excited to show you this truck. Now I get a lot of people asking about vinyl wrapping grills and vinyl wrapping bumpers. Now, this is a truck that we actually got it done. Now, if you look at some of my other videos, you will see that we got some other vinyl wrapping projects done too as well. But I think wrapping the grill and bumpers is a very popular thing. Also, wrapping the side pillars. You can see that the side pillars are done on this truck. Now, you guys know that tent is my major thing. So we got a lot of tent work done on this truck as well. I went over the rear windows in 3% limo. We left the rear crew cab doors untinted, but we also added tint 20% on the front windows. So we got that whole blacked out look thing going on the side. His rear bumper just had the bumper corners that were chrome, so we vinyl wrapped them as well. One of the things with vinyl wrap, a lot of people ask, can you match factory colors? Now, you can't always match the factory colors perfectly, okay? Now, vinyl comes in a lot of different colors and a lot of people assume you're just gonna do a complete wrap. But when you wanna do a certain accents of color, sometimes it's hard to match. Like you got some maroons and blues and pearl coats and stuff like that where the vinyl might not match perfectly. But this being a white truck, I use Avery Denison white vinyl and it, it turned out really well with this one it matched really good but like i said it's not always the case so you're gonna have to get close or find a color that might accent the color that you already have on your truck so give this video a thumbs up if you like this content smash the subscribe button and we'll be back with another video leave a comment down below let me know what you think about the ford all wrapped up and all tinted up and we'll be back with another video until then stay faded